This is Evan from Sonic Wear. I'm just shooting a short video to show um, how to uh, connect an auxiliary input source to the ELZ-1 and how to use some of the effects in the ELZ-1 on that signal. Um, so the first thing I've done is I've just connected this old cell phone here um, with a connector up to the aux input on the ELZ-1. Um, and then the next step is to go to um, menu and then um, scroll to, if I can get this to focus, um, you're going to scroll here to where it says aux in, hit OK. And then um, you're going to go to EFX insert. And then you're going to choose either off if you want uh, no effects on that insert. Um, you can select delay if you want the delay to affect the auxiliary input, um, or you can select uh, reverb. So in this case, I'll just select the delay. Then if I go back out and I select my effects, and I go to my delay, you can see the delay is on. I have some settings going, so I'm just going to play some music on the cell phone. And you can hear if I, I have the mix at zero. So if I turn. And so now it's the delay that's affecting it. So if I go back to menu, I go to aux input, EFX insert, and I switch that to reverb, you can hear that it switched it over to just the reverb effect. So if I go over here to the reverb, and then I turn the mix all the way to zero, and then I turn that up. So yeah, that's essentially how it works. Um, you can choose either the delay or the reverb um, for the auxiliary input, and then it just gets mixed with um, whatever you're doing on the synthesizer. So keep in mind that the synthesizer will be affected by all four of these, including the delay and the reverb, even if the auxiliary is going through it. Um, yeah, and it'll be output out of the two main outputs, um, the headphone output. It just all gets mixed together. Um, so yeah, if you have any more questions, uh, let me know, and I'm happy to help.